All hail to Robert E. Howard, the creator of the character Conan and all his stories and the influence he had on me and my entire life. From his writings, there were comic books that were created, the artwork, the stories, the fantasy. I really, really love all the artistry, the artists and the storytellers that created all this fantasy, fantasy plethora of fantasy for me to design my life at the age of 22, I needed direction. Living at a naked hippie beach, these comic books eventually over the years from 1972 to 1982 when I actually went and got hired to be in the movie, these were my mainstays of my creativity, of, my, of who I wanted to be with, with women. And let me show you how that evolved to becoming a belly dancer due to the comic book artistry. When you look at the Conan comic books, you see these ladies. And I, as a 22, 23, 24 year old, I looked at these girls going, what kind of American women wear these kind of clothes? And I went, well, belly dancers. So if you look again at this significant picture right here, I looked at the comic book character Conan and I went, I want to look like that. I want to sit around and watch girls like that dance. But this was like 1974 when I thought, well, the world's going to change. There's not going to be just a bunch of guys getting drunk, gnarly, ugly guys watching a hot chick dance. Things are going to change. The women are going to demand guys get up there and dance. And so I started taking belly dance lessons with the concept of being in front of a bunch of women just like these women were in front of a bunch of men doing nothing but gawking. And the girl looks hot and these guys look gnarly and pretty much unattractive. So, what did I do? I studied more. I met a girl like that who performed at a ranch that I worked at and she inspired me to take belly dance lessons. The only guy that even inquired at this belly dance school to know what does a guy do? I'm not a frilly guy. I was using the undulations for my surfing. So here is the involvement of my outfit. In this comic book, Conan comic book, you see the character wearing what's called a kafia. It's that Middle Eastern headdress. He rides into town, and as you see, there's another picture of the kafia, and another one. So what does he do? He rides, he, he arrives at a saloon where, lo and behold, they're belly dancers, and they're dancing away. And I went, well, how do I meet women like this? Well, if I joined the belly dance class, I was with like 19 different belly dancers. And I trained for seven months in this class. And it was beautiful because I learned these motions, but it was because I wanted to be with ladies like this. Not standing around stupidly, being dorky. I wanted to talk shop with them. And so that's exactly what happened to me after seven months when I moved to Aspen, Colorado, I got a job as a belly dancer, dancing to women for my ski money, my food money, and my rent money. Here is my involvement performing with belly dancers that I actually taught. This is me trying to recreate that comic book world, dancing with girls like this. performing with a sword of all things. I needed to perform with a sword. So look, I'm a pretty happy guy when I accomplished this. This is before I met Arnold. 
This is before I even was in the film. This was in the 70s. It's great training, belly dancing in front of a bunch of people and dancing on stage with women like this was fulfilling a fantasy of mine from created from those comic books. I actually created my own band called Conan and the Bedroom Bandits because in the off season in Aspen, Colorado, there wasn't much going on. So in the on season, I would be dancing at a nightclub, two women, again, to earn my money and walk to work with a sword. What kind of job would require me to have a sword? It was belly dancing. So I created a job that, here's my first gig called, Con my band was called Conan and the Bedroom Bandits. And it was my first gig trying to dance to women to make money to keep this fantasy going for myself. This is a picture of me and my band members. This was like 1976. As a belly dancer, a male, the typical thing is that you play drums. But in my case, I not only play drums, I dance with the women. I'm wearing the riding boots from the movie Conan the Barbarian. Here's me before a performance at the local, local called Wheeler Opera House. So I accomplished something, but it was based on those comic books. I accomplished being with women like this, dressed up as princesses, surrounding me so I could dance and have a sword in my hand. So, I eventually got into the film and was hired as a massage therapist as well as a stuntman. This I got for the movie for helping burn down the village in the opening scenes of the movie, Conan the Barbarian. This is the patch that John Milius and Arnold presented to me as an official greeting, an official member of Milius' production team. He called it A-Team Conan. So I made it, after years of reading comic books, I made it into the movie and play 11 different characters. And my crowning glory related to all these comic books is that eventually, not only having read those comic books, a comic book came out about the movie, and I'm in this comic book playing different characters. For instance, my first job as a massage therapist, right off the bat, was to take care of Sandal, because she was climbing towers and she was sore from the, all the stunts that she did. So my job through the five months I spent was massaging her, a job I created for myself. Then I got to be with Arnold and train with him and be his wildest training partner, as he said in his autobiography. So I'd like to flip through this book to show you kind of what I did when I looked at this book and saw characters similar to characters that I played. 